All right, people. Welcome back. More the Endo commentary. So we are joined by Mr. Lunar. Yo. It's been a while. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just busy with school and stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lots of exams and all that kind of thing. Hey, you're the one who decided to do the extra schooling. You could have went and been. Oh, I don't. I don't do that anymore. I've oh. already. I'm super good at maths now. Oh, okay. After my extra lessons. <laughs> and we have. Porky Balboa, alright. I've never <laughs> seen a Rocky movie. Me neither. But... <laughs> yeah, I know it. But, uh, 1402 and Miser? 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 I think it's Miser. 63 at 1410, so they were really close. You know, at the end of this duel, either one of them's, one of them's going to be higher than the other, indefinitely. Oh, maybe a little bit of Mermaid? With Gen X Undyne, alright. I mean, with 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 Neptibus, there's really no reason mm -hmm. to play Undyne anymore. <laughs> Been a while since I've seen that guy. Mm -hmm. does hey, everything yeah, maybe else. he's playing Gen X. You never know. At fourteen oh uh, fourteen ten, <laughs> I'm not sure. In For a eight thousand experience, maybe, <laughs> maybe. Ah, <sighs> yeah, I've been busy with school too. I haven't had a really an opportunity to really talk about it because the final band was talked. But yeah, I'm back in college. <laughs> Yeah, Goon. <laughs> you took a cool oh, name, yeah. right, Goon? Oh, yep. yep. Everyone's playing that card. Of course. Uh, it's, it's, it's been kind of dropped as of late now since uh, uh, the Draco Slayers. Mm. You know, Draco Face Off has been kind of replaced, the Brilliant Fusion, but still. It's like a, a mill and a double summon. Mm hmm. Point of Genji is, just, is some serious shit. I'm actually surprised he didn't send. Uh, Damage Joker, but I guess he really wants to trick clown right now. Hmm. Yep, get that additional summon and get hit with that strike. Nah. Notice nah. me, Senpai. <laughs> oh, and then here we go. It's freezing. <laughs> so good. Yeah, it's all good. Uh, this man can trish you, can he? If he summons back Diva, Diva, Undyne, and one of the level fours, yeah, that, that's trish right there, isn't it? Well, he didn't do that. Oh, yeah. I would have. Fuck yeah, I would have chased you. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, you'd be, be down to two cards. Three on his turn. Yeah, best of all. And look at this. Well, look at this. Yeah, why not? When you when you detach f dragoons, you get their. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see. Because yeah. he's water. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That man went hella plus. Still think Trish would have been better. Yeah, I would have Trished. This we could have done both as well. We could have had Trish and Weller. Mm -hmm. But you couldn't have had Dragoons on Dweller. Dragoons isn't, of course, once per turn, so you get Dragoons as much as you want as long as you keep sending him. He nice. can't search for himself, so. Ridiculous. So he started off with six, and he ended up with nine. A lot more. Yeah, <laughs> a lot more cards. Uh, this game is so fast. So what are you playing, Porky? Well, don't you? forget that completely useful, brilliant fusion on the field. Oh, yeah. Completely That's useful. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I mean, what deck are you playing? Even when frickin' Gen X, <laughs> Gen X Undyne put in that work, so... <laughs> Probably would've been a lot worse if it was Neftibus, though. Scoop. <laughs> not Scoop. I mean, unless he has absolutely nothing. Wow. So, this is... Unless he's playing some weird version of uh, PP. I mean, how long did Stu have to sit there on his video on my play game? No PP, no Cosmo. I don't, I don't see PP or Cosmo <laughs> here. It doesn't look like it. Like, this is these guys are 14, 14, both of them. They, they Man, one of them imagine if Exiton wasn't banned. Mm. Exiton. <laughs> yeah, take that Pierce. Is it attack and defense? Yeah, it's attack and defense. No lock. Yeah, what do you mean no lock? I don't get it. Okay. <laughs> he <laughs> no has to take lock. the damage first, come on. Yeah. Take that Pierce, get the search. <laughs> yeah. It's all Halberd putting that work. He's, he's played a lot more in the OCG, but still. Halberd is a cool weapon. Speaking of weapons, I've been playing the shit out of that new Final Fantasy Explorers. <laughs> Is that like the Monster Hunter kind of? Yeah. One. It's not as hard though. Not even. 
<laughs> Alright, summon me. Exiton? <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. Wow. Nom nom nom. Nom nom nom, okay. Getting a reprint in Wing Raiders. Oh, 101? Yeah. That's good. Is he still kind of expensive? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't even have one yet, so you know. <laughs> it's more expensive. And I'll definitely be getting wing raiders because you know I play raid raptors. Why so you could just drop that ultimate falcon. Ban yeah. powers. That's and then that's make not gonna be that's not gonna be it's not gonna be in wing raiders, I don't think. It's fucking ridiculous. Like, Cause the the cover card is you, freaking satellite falcon. You went to the extreme of banning towers and then you make shit that's way easier yeah. to summon. It's so retarded, <laughs> like they should unban towers. Like you see, this is why I hop on the anime train. You see, I take, I get the anime decks because they're nice and cheap when they start, mm -hmm. and then they get the broken cards towards the end of the anime. Mm -hmm. Everybody's like, "Oh, PP is fucking, I can perform files like garbage." And now look at them, ridiculous. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Grab all those anime cards up. I got my melodious as well. You never know. I still don't like, like using randomly like OP. She, she annoys me. She's she's been yeah. nothing but useless as of late. <laughs> And then and yeah. then, then you freaking just I've not I've not liked this arc at all to be honest. The kinda the dueling on motorcycles arc. Just like, and then you just stun one of my favorite people on the show. <laughs> it's like what the hell? I want I want I want more freaking uh more moonlight shit. And yeah. It's like, nope, nope, it's just permanently just just stun. Her. Like how, she's been stunned for how many episodes now? Ridiculous. Uh, the classic play, Megalo, Tribute, Neptobis, two attacks, Neptobis, summon back dragoons. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Wow. This is why we love them. <laughs> I'm going to 101 because it's just the water. <laughs> oh, well, you better have some. <laughs> I can't remember who said it. They were playing, they were playing Marmels, and they were like, why, why should I play 101 when Castell does the job better? It's like, it's water. <laughs> yeah. Water levels. I don't really know what deck Porky was playing. Maybe it's just um, you know, good old heroic challenger or whatever they're called. Yeah, maybe. Maybe it was more of his deck in game two. And put the video on pause. Alright. Who's going first? Wow, he actually let freaking Master go first? Maybe he's gonna play that Jagoons. Always dare the Jagoons. <laughs> Pike goons. <laughs> yeah. Freaking people, oh, Dragoon's the three, and Diva like, no, 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 no. That deck doesn't need any help. It's perfectly fine the way it is. <laughs> that's because it's, <laughs> uh, that's because you can't beat PP. Doesn't mean that it's bad. <laughs> it's like, no, 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 no. Dragoons, we we have precedence. OCG, we have exactly uh, the same. One Diva, two Dragoons. They even have it worse than us because they only have what one uh, Neptibus. Yeah. Uh, so. Something like that. Not not Neptibus. Uh. Um. Yeah, Bisco. Yeah. No. Is that his name? Guy. No. Oh my god! I forgot Abyss. his name. The turtle guy. Turge? No, that's not it. What the hell is his name? The turtle guy. But what the fuck is yeah. his name? Diaz. Diaz. It's Abyss Diaz. Oh, Bistius, yeah. yeah they only, seriously, oh, they only have freaking one TS, so they, we have it better than them. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I know the search is important, but I, maybe, do you really need it first turn like that? I can just detach. <laughs> uh, Jenkins? Wow. Mm. Searching lead. Yeah, that's, that's an odd one. So are you actually going to summon lead like that? Oh, okay. You're gonna summon lead through, uh, gun. Mm-hmm. You're going pretty in for first turn. Yeah. You're gonna go ahead and... Right, Gicky? Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's probably gonna go ahead and search his, uh, his equip spell that blocks spells. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, just bait it, then right, Gicky? Yeah, bait it, then right, Gicky. Get destroyed. Oh, God, he's going so freaking in. He'd pick a card out of his hand, quit that, alright. Then maybe gonna turn those two into Abyss Gaius. Once again. <laughs> oh, it's volcanic. <laughs> oh. So wait, you're doing the, the heroic challenger engine? 
Like, you know, Performer Pals is a much faster and stronger Rank 4 engine, right? Oh, not Performer Pals, Performer Ages. They both start with P. Mm. PP. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then when you hit the uh, pe the Performer Pals, then they'll just put in more Draco Slayers, and then they'll just turn into DP. <laughs> 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 Rick and Yu-Gi-Oh and all its innuendos. <laughs> oh yeah. And you build someone with the deck and you just like, you just talk to your phone and you're like, are you ready for this DP? And you'll be like, excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> so water. The Monarch Structure deck came out today uh, in Europe. Oh no. Did you go and pick up three? Now ready to go to town on people? I have them, but one of my friends has. Mm. <laughs> This three strikes deck slapping again. What's up? I, I know someone wanted to talk to me, wanted me to talk about him, but what, what's up with Delg? What, what was that? Delg. Yeah. I never saw Delg get any play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Freaking the Delg. I saw Kerr ask it play because yeah, that's it's pretty good when you can pop on your opponent's turn. Mm -hmm. uh, with Aether. Uh, yeah. Delg. All, yesterday. Yeah. All of a sudden. Delg's, Delg's just hot trash. Yeah, but did you see what happened yesterday? <laughs> No. Yeah, the one in. Did he shoot up? Yeah, in price he shot up the price. Uh, all of them, but the the one in. Uh, oh my God! What is it? I keep on forgetting the name of that set where all the expensive cards are the super rare ones. Uh, premium gold. No, no, no! It's an old pack. It's an old oh. pack, and it's oh, infamous okay. for having expensive cards. Don't know. Oh my God! I... Huh? Star Trek Blast. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Star Strike Blast. Is, uh, was it Star, Star Strike something? Isn't it? Isn't that the pack? With like, that Gen X guy who's like. temporarily expensive and... I don't have any clue. I think it's Star Strike Blast. I think it is. I don't know. Yeah, but anyway. Yeah, that was shot up to like 30 something dollars. It's probably just because it's like, oh, Monarchs. Make all the Monarchs. Yeah, fun. it's like, what? Like... Like, the only thing I could think of with him... Because you, you know really, someone's going to really, You gotta go. You gotta go. You won game one, and you're just like, oh, go, go. <laughs> like, wow. Mm -mm 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 -mm. His mom was like, dinner! <laughs> Alright, I guess. So, I'll get another duel in. Be right back. Alright, we're back. So, uh... We have a lot of public viewers or something like that? I don't know. I'm Spanish. Probably. <laughs> I took two and a half years of Spanish, all right? <laughs> uh, I did I did three years. Yep, yep, yep. You got three years, so you, we should do it. We're, we're pro. We got this. Yeah, we man. We should be ambassadors for freaking Mexico with our kids. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, I think it's John Ca Claf Caflor. Well, TNS is I have, right? Because you say... Yeah. I'm not sure if it's I have or we have. Or we have, we have, maybe. Huh? We have many viewers you, or something. Instead of many setting the time space, you just pitched it. Alright. Alright. <laughs> maybe a better, I guess better that, things. I, I guess he must have better things. We had John here, 9-3, and 6-J, 6-J, 10-45, and once again, just anti spell against. <laughs> That's why he didn't need the space yeah, time. anti spell against. Let's go. Let's go. That card's so ridiculous. <laughs> GG. If you guys want to update, <laughs> no, I still not got my anti fellfringers is back. Ha! <laughs> and you versus the cool. one deck that's kind of meh again. Right. You can just set the, the the town and then play it next turn, like meh. So, uh, recent Cosmos still no PB. Interesting. But uh, no, the one thing there's one thing I can think of doubt. Uh, what you banish two cards in your opponent's graveyard and then mill two cards at the top of their deck. Mm. That's what Doug does, right? Yeah. The only thing I can think of is mirror match. Oh, banish yeah, idea and that is and stuff like that. And or whatever his name now, is. Now, was that worth thirty bucks? Hell no. But <laughs> yeah, uh, that's the only thing I can think of for the reason for that card to even be played, let alone go up in that price. And yep, yeah, set that Cosmo Town. So you can go ahead and destroy it, but he'll just get another Cosmo Town. So the one time where you're like, oh yeah, anti spell fragments in the main deck, let's go, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna flip it up, and he's just gonna scoop. Nope. <laughs> oh man, troll and toad is watching. <laughs> Just the entire freaking website. <laughs> yep. They're overpriced cards. <laughs> so, I don't know. I don't know. 
I, I definitely think Monarchs are going to be a threat. I don't think they're going to get hit on this upcoming list in March. Probably a list after that. Probably, like, maybe Pantheism. Mm -hmm. That card's a little bit too fast. It's good. It's too good. You know, if there's really any card that you can yeah. point at, a finger at in Monarchs, it's, it's Pantheism. <laughs> it's, just... it's like, it's got, like, no restrictions. You can use both effects in the same turn. You can use the first effect as many times as you want in a turn. Mm -hmm. It's just like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Allura's at one. And Fantheism's at three. Uh, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Hey, what, what are you <sighs> possibly going to experience? I have no idea. Rafisha. Raph. Raph. Alright, sure. How much is Raph right now? Yeah, about your, what you'd expect. So I guess he's going to make Raph so he can uh, time space. Instead of going to, uh, I mean, I maybe, depending on what you drew, instead of going to first turn Tsukiyomi, I probably would have went to first turn Raph. Because Raph is good against anybody. Whether it be Cosmos or PP or whatever. <laughs> that just had that freaking playing space time from your deck, just so good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Feel the Raph of <laughs> Raph. Like, space, space time's already great, but being able to play it from your deck, like, come on. Come on, son. <laughs> <laughs> But still, I mean, just trying to figure out what you're really going to do. I guess you're just going to wait for him to summon something out of his hand. I mean, you can go ahead and flip up that uh, over that Cosmo Town and get your farm girl back. Summon attack attack. Unless he didn't put like, maybe like Bumless Trap Hole on farm girl. I have no idea. But usually you should wait until the resolution of the yeah. ship that he's summoning and then do something with Wrath. So... So you don't know what Raph does? Raph is a boss ass bitch. Look at that <laughs> slumber party. That's a, uh, that's not a slumber party. That's a, that's a gang. That that is a fucking cult right there. Trap <laughs> <laughs> cards from your deck is pretty pretty fair. <laughs> Gather at that point in New Year. Yep. And get your farm girl back. I'm wondering if he's gonna be like as soon as you summon your farm girl. But wow, farm girl tanked in price. When do we get the trap cards that straight up say you can add this card from the deck? <laughs> oh, wow. I kind of regret even putting my mouth over Dark Destroyer. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean, uh, God, how can people afford this mm. game? <laughs> I'll play Fluffle. Cost me 60 quid for the whole deck. Speaking of Fluffle, <laughs> that is who you were tagging with today. Oh, nice. Damn, that means oh. I can't play <laughs> <laughs> My viewers are driving me up the fucking wall. Some of them. How so? I'm not good with DDD. You could have <laughs> taken it off of Daily Duels, but yet, no, you can't do that. You have to set it. And you're still playing Reasoning in Cosmos? Can't do that. Franga. <laughs> yeah, Fanga. Fragrance. Why like fragrance? It's called anti spell. Alright. <laughs> I never called it fragrant. Franga. <laughs> Franga. <laughs> <laughs> what you know about that Franga though? I can't believe he actually put Farm Girl back though. Alright. Uh yeah. I suck with DDD and I get it. I'm not doing the most optimal plays. But y y you guys act like I lose. I thought pulling out <laughs> that 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 uh that crystal Wing was pretty pretty badass. I actually I did it. Wait, Crystal Wing? Uh -huh. and I'm, I'm so confused. You you summon Alexander and then you uh, use Lamia and <laughs> Crystal Wing. I <Yeah>. guess. <laughs> but like that's so but situational nice. because most of the time you can only summon Phoenix. on which monster she used to do it. <laughs> I busted it out. So oh, I baited his crystal wing, and then I summoned my own crystal wing, and I won the duel. I, and still, crap and dislike. So I decided, especially with that, combined with just the end commentary in general, I'm just going to turn the dislike bar off. It's not that important. You know, if you get satisfaction out of seeing the likes or dislikes, apologize. But, you know, I get the mm. view either way. I personally... Oh, what are you talking about, Daniel? That's the best part. This card can't be destroyed. I get to see the light save. I 
No, no, other, no other freaking. Oh Return. my god. I want to wait some. Oh my god. No, 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 no. <laughs> god damn it. <laughs> nice try. Yeah, nice try, fucking cheater. Get stop. Damn. No. She can be destroyed by. Straight up says monsters you control except yeah. trap tricks. Come on, actually. that would be ridiculous. Yeah, she'd be, she'd so, be so broke. broke. Well, she's already, I mean, yeah, broke, she's already but, broke. You know, she would be so broke. This twenty-five booty can't be fucking destroyed by battle. You can't touch her. Like, <laughs> GG. Okay. Some of this you lose. Seriously, it's like, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You can't attack all over, and if you even think about summoning a fucking threat, like, get that shit off the field! Oh my god. Seriously. Do I have to, like, message everybody this? She can be destroyed by battle. Read it, read her carefully. Irreparable game read thing. Read her carefully. Come on. Because your opponent is literally just sitting here and he's gonna play the fucking whole, like, no, I can't speak Spanish card. I ain't playing that shit! <laughs> I hate that shit! No hablo mi espanol. Fuck out of here! No hablo espanol. Seriously. And that's another thing, is that if, if the two people dueling fuck up and I'm not paying attention enough, then they get on me. I'm not a judge! <laughs> Fuck yeah, that shit. I'm busy, I'm busy you know, having a conversation with the person who's joining me. If they fuck up, that's yeah. them. What the God, fuck is going Jesus on? Christ, why is it still it's on still the still on the fucking field. field. Like, are <laughs> neither one of you two going to pay attention to me? Whatever. 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 I don't even care anymore. Christ. This dude goes to all fucking crap. I don't give a shit. My monster. So fucking stupid. So you guys can't get on me for this. This is not my fault. I, I tried to say something, but nope. It can be destroyed. <laughs> yeah, so, so, so it can't be destroyed, huh? So Rafisha's just invincible. <laughs> this duel is stupid. <laughs> Did you not read my card? It says immune to all yeah, other card really? effects. Like, come on, it's right there. Can't be destroyed. It's small print. It straight up says when this card is summoned, yeah. you win. It says in small print, like right there, like it's, it's in between the letters of Kazuki Takahashi. It says right there. <laughs> I, I might just go to a fucking translator and slap this shit in because I don't know what he fucking said <laughs> to me. Alright, apparently got resolved in a defeat while I was trying to translate some some uh, Spanish to English and English to Spanish. Not that not that I need a translator or anything, because I am the ambassador of my team. <laughs> yeah, we, we are, are pro, pro, but uh... <laughs> With five and a half years <laughs> no, five between, and a half years between us. us. Like, do you not understand? Like, I eat at Taco Bell. That, that makes me a certified Mexican. Like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure you can't say that. <laughs> like the most racist thing I said all day. <laughs> uh, but seriously, like, what the fuck? But no, I just decided to turn it off. Fuck it. I get, I, it's, it's views that count. It seems like when I turn the dislike bar off, I actually get more likes than dislikes. Like, as if the people who dislike the video only get satisfaction at seeing their dislikes. But as soon as I forget or leave it on, they'll dislike the shit out of my videos. In all fairness, red lightsabers are pretty cool. <laughs> they will <laughs> fucking destroy the fucking dislike button to no end. So no thank you, no thank you. Just forget it. Likes and dislikes aren't that important. I just don't like seeing them. I don't like seeing them. I don't like people commenting about them. That you know, that's not something that my viewers that support me should have to comment about. Once again, just butt turning back, girl. Good old tellers. <laughs> But I'm not sure if they can handle the Cosmos. It's just, you know, your best out trip. Wow, a lot of darkness in Cosmos. I guess. 
We can grab it back with Cosmo yeah. Town, I guess. So, okay, interesting. It's not too bad, not too bad. It's like when they uh, were playing uh, Gold Sarcophagus. Wow. Yeah, Monsters. and... Uh, One of them. <gasps> Tell them I should say if I Freaking win. Sacred Sword of the Seven oh, okay, Stars. Fair. Remember mm -hmm. back? Yeah, I remember that. Back in the day when, when there was only Forerunner Seriously, and Slip is he Rider. Not, like, running the new Cosmo cards? No, no Tin Can, none of that. Because you don't need to run Reasoning in that anymore. T tin Can's mm -hmm. pretty great. I just gotta know that. Uh, I, I personally, I so, think Cosmo Artifacts is better. Artifacts are just so fucking disruptive. And there's actually people who think that fucking Raw Attack should go to two or three. Like, no. <laughs> Shit, <laughs> Artifact Engine is one of the most disruptive engines in all of Yu-Gi-Oh. Like, are you fucking shitting me? Like, oh my god. Even with only one raw attack, I still think it's the better version. Running the tin can, sending the monsters, playing the Call of the Haunted, and, and the... the in how, how broke do you think the Death Star is going to be? Oh, the Dark planet. planet. I don't know, did you see the uh, DPYO Pro's uh, video talking about it? Yeah, I did, I did. I don't yeah, think that's uh, real. I, I wasn't sure if I wanted to do a card review about it off of just that. Yeah, I don't think that's real. Because it, I just like, I, did you see? It looks too did underwhelming. You, see the, um, you know, like the the the. Oh my god, I don't know what to call it. Like the coding at the top, like what sets it from, and like the, what card it is. If you look no, at the card, it's like it's it? like if you look at it, it's like the the text that says what sets in what card number is like going over the picture. It's just like, oh, yeah. fake as fuck, it's like, it's not, no. <laughs> yeah. Yep, space time. Let's go. God, if they make it a 4,000 beat stick, though, <laughs> that's unaffected. Mm -hmm. 4,000 monsters that can't be targeted? It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, get them fucking, them fucking rippling mirror forces ASAP. I was kind of underwhelmed by what he said for the effect. I was like, nah, I wouldn't play that. <laughs> yeah. I think... Dark Planet won't be too broke because I mean, look at Dark Eclipse. Uh, it's not as good mm -hmm. as Dark Destroyer. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't think it will summon one from the deck. It will probably add to the hand or whatever, like so Eclipse it does. Sorry, if it's a four thousand B, that can't be targeted. <laughs> yeah, they better not make it four thousand. Damn. Yeah, summon the nav. Well, then again, we are getting Utopia the mm -hmm. Lightning. Yeah, that's nice. Just there's only so many lightnings you can play against Ultimate Falcon and yeah. with Skip. It can... And you shouldn't have to play a card in your extra deck just to that's be able to saying. compete. Like said, you, you banned powers. They, you were so yeah. salty about powers. You banned it. Now deal with all the repercussions of all the other cards that are much easier to summon and power, more powerful than powers. Because yeah. all you had to do was hit Wavering Eyes down to one and Tower Trouble had been done. And now you took it to the extreme. Konami, and look at it, look at it. Now, I'm not saying that you should give Cleese their shit back this early. I understand if you don't, but God, it's just like, you didn't even have to go there. All you had to do was hit Wavering Eyes down to one, where it should be at. So, just let it get banished during the end phase, okay. And John used all that back row, all of it was there. <laughs> yeah, so... Let's see if, I, if John can keep it locked down. The nukes and I guess another never no effects. Why not? In case he's gonna fuck you up. No, send the Vega. In case he's gonna fuck you up with the Cosmojo. Yes, Cosmojo, get rid of that Deneb. You don't need it. <laughs> I'm not even sure freaking J6 is even running it. We have not seen a lot. I think we saw one Dark Eclipse. Mm. Attack, attack, and. I don't think we even saw one. Uh, I, I think we saw one. it when he put it back with Cosmotown, the previous duel. Yeah. Oh, maybe. This is one of the three cards he put back. Who are you going into? Ptolemyus Nova Infinity? No, Triv. Is this one is sent from the field to the graveyard? Just when it's sent to the graveyard, period. This card in Phil Zone is destroyed by card back. So if he picks out the Cosmotown out of his hand, then no effect. So that's not bad. Do it. Just do it. Ooh, ooh, six. 
Oh, I would have yeah, done it the one, other two, way. Three, four, five, six. I would have had the other one, and it got cut. Yeah. Right. Set that. Reset that call. The haunted. Good old stun base. I mean, I know song strike is the shit, but don't underestimate that uh, time space. It's just that's a lot of life points. If you play all of it. <laughs> strike the time space. You're probably just gonna life point yourself out. <laughs> and set more back row. <laughs> Ah, oh, it's good to still know that tellers haven't changed since winning fucking worlds. <laughs> yeah. Reasoning again. Still playing reasoning. I I wouldn't play reasoning anymore. That's no, not a smart call though, but that's not eight. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Always quit, man. Don't freaking don't destroy all the deck is dumb as <laughs> shit. You gonna go ahead and summon back one of them? What does he have banished? Farm Girl and I think uh Wicked Witch? Was it Was it? Oh I thought it was Dark Witch yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Bad Witch. Isn't her name Wicked Witch? Wicked yeah. Witch, yeah, that's the one. <laughs> you said good you said good oh, witch. I said Wicked Witch. Nah, I you said the, good. I have the recording! Yeah, you do. So uh -huh. we'll check yeah, that. Yeah, all the freaking people commenting are gonna be like, "He said Wicked Witch," <laughs> and, it, nah, and it was good, good anyway. <laughs> it said Good Witch, and it was, and it was no, Good Witch. No, no, I that's... said Wicked Witch, and it was good. See, nah, you said right Good. There. Actually, you I called good. it. You were right, but you said Good. <laughs> I hate you so much. So now, what are you gonna do? <laughs> what are you gonna sit down, Trib? So instead of dealing with twenty-one, you deal with twenty-five. Because Trib got that booty. Or are you actually going to do something from your extra deck, which you rarely see Cosmos do? That's the time to be great right now. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I actually had an exit on in real life. It. Yeah, I got it from a Megaton. Well, and you can attempt to cast still. You know he has a call to haunt it. Like, you know, his, his plays are not over. I think he might have this duel. Wow, 101. Nom nom nom. With exceed material sent to the graveyard, right? Blah blah blah. blah. This card with exceed material is sent to the graveyard. Yeah. Nice. So we detach exceed materials from him. <laughs> to off the yeah. Tuna. Detach, please. <laughs> nah, keep them all. Keep them all. <laughs> Three <laughs> negate destruction. Yeah, you know you get all the exceed materials. If that was true, then fucking Infinity would be even more broken than it already is. <laughs> oh, God. Alright, so I guess there's no Phoenix Chain or anything back there. No time space, no nothing. You gonna take the damage? Yeah, take the damage and do end phase calls haunted. And wrap this duel up, so I think John has got this game. Yeah. End phase calls haunted. Summon Altair. Altair, summon Deneb. Deneb get the search. Summon. Make a triff. Pick that last uh, straw man out of your hand, and that should be it. Yep. You'd be top decking at that point. Then it's okay, all so I, don't over. Know, I don't know what's up with TCG Economy. This deck wins world, and all you do is just put Rota down to one. That's ridiculous. Yeah. That is ridiculous, Konami. Oh, it's over right now. Maybe it's over. Oh, no, wait. No, it's not. No, it's not. Can out enough damage? I blundered. It's not over yet. Summon, summon. He could get him from a hunt. He could get him down to a hundred health. But seriously, it's just like wow. I mean, I get it. It's not the top tier deck. It's not the best. I get it. But still, I mean, it won worlds. Come on, every deck that wins world gets crucified except for this deck. Oh, okay. Now it's over. <laughs> oh. That yeah, top okay. deck, top deck Vega. Vega. Let's go. I haven't seen even a, a blip of Necros. <laughs> we've seen Burning Abyss, we've seen Tellers. We saw Cleese once. <laughs> but nope, nope, no Necros. It's all because you banned shit. Like, <laughs> that was the nail in the coffin. <laughs> they gotta tribute too much. They can't have that perfect tribute suits, all that good shit.
Wait, you didn't use the Zineb that's in defense mode? It can change the battle position, can it? Yeah, it can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That way you summoned in defense last time. Last turn. Yep, so Deltros pop, turn, attack, 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 attack. No, wait. Wait, why do you go Deltaros? Wait. Oh, because yeah. Triv would have returned them. But how do you deal with both of them? Yeah. That's, that's, yeah. Oh, you just, well. you just have to have Rota. Alright. You already know someone this turn, though. And he's just going to skip. Alright. Yeah. Alright, get another duel. <laughs> Round three. That was yep. a weird we're one. Alright, we're back. What else can we talk about? Oh, we can talk about that freaking uh, token ruling. Fucking cheaters. Oh. Who's putting tokens in there? I don't know. They just, I guess they just, it's like this deck separator. It's like your deck and then like your side deck, your extra deck and your tokens, I guess. The deck separator. And I guess they just grab yes. the tokens of the deck deck and then put them down. And it's just like, no. Maybe they should put a ruling about, because there's some people who don't even take out their extra deck and put it on the mat. They just kind of keep it in their deck box. Did you read the report that they yeah. did on it? Mind game. Like, uh, <laughs> it's like, it's mind games. Yeah, yeah that's what they were saying. It's information your opponent is allowed to know how many cards yeah, are in yeah. your extra deck. They don't have to know what cards are. <laughs> it's not mind game. That's common knowledge, Yeah, they just have to ask. You know? But I, I, I get it. I get it. Uh, with you know the monarch structure that coming out, and uh, you know it's obvious that when you're dueling someone, you don't see an extra deck. It's obvious the monarchs, and I guess monarchs players know that too. So maybe they feel like. Uh, Fifteen feel, tokens. Oh no! It's just anything, you know. Just be like set some tokens and play it off as your extra deck, then play Monarchs, play your field spell, and they'll be like, oh, you have cards in your extra deck. like, no, these are tokens. Ha ha. So, yeah. <laughs> mind games, games bro. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you know, if you play mind games, then you shout, then you will be disqualified. And they say, then ban that nigga Hoban right now. <laughs> oh, that nigga doesn't play mind <laughs> games. But now, yeah, it, it makes sense. It makes sense. I, I don't even know why people are doing shit like that. That's what I want. I, I'm hoping they touch on next because I know some people actually do that. They just keep their extra deck in their deck box. And just only take out things when they want to do plays, you know? For all I know, in that, ex in that, in that fucking deck box, yeah. you have every single fucking uh, monster in the sky. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, I got my 30 card extra deck. Mm, so, I don't know, I don't know. This is the cheating in Yu-Gi-Oh. Like, priority and now this. Just, come on, people. I'm making up rules and cheating. You're supposed to have dignity. Yu-Gi-Oh is all about skill. Why do you Why do you gotta cheat when you have more skill than your opponent? Because Yu-Gi-Oh is all about skill, right? <laughs> you know? No, no, it's not luck at all. I mean, people cheat in poker, but that's also a skill, so... <laughs> So, once again, we see the most powerful trap card in Yu-Gi-Oh! Showing its head, yeah, showing its face. Don't give me strike, don't say... Yeah, but uh, not its body. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, that one has, is... Uh, not the... to, look at it, it's so inappropriate, you gotta cover that up. <laughs> wipe that. Yeah, I know, <laughs> we can't have that. Yeah, wipe yeah. that all out. <laughs> he's naked under there. <laughs> he doesn't even look like he's naked, it looks like he's just oh, wearing like, oh, a, a skin-tight red suit. Yeah, I know, right. Because it's not even like the same yeah. skin tone as his hands and his face. Like, I don't know. You're weird, TCG Konami. <laughs> Does Vanity say when a card is sent from the deck to the graveyard? Yep, deck or field to the graveyard. So if he used Inukula High, then uh, Vanity is going to go. But are we just going to see Vanity's lock it down? This <laughs> probably. Like I said, if I had a nickel for every single duel I've won or lost because of Vanity's, I'd be mm -hmm. a gajillionaire. <laughs> like a gajillionaire. Gajillionaire. <laughs> right, it's, 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 it's called uh, Vanity's Emptiness Makes Everyone Eat a Fat Dick. Trademark. <laughs> <laughs> eat a fat dick. dick. Trademark. <laughs> <laughs> yep, and Vanity's locked it down in one. Hey. So, so no PP. Yeah. Well, there's just, there is no PP here. This this was a this was a lesbian bar, wow, <laughs> wow! Both strikes. <laughs> you ain't gonna do shit, Mr. Cosmic Player. <laughs> All right, so go ahead and call that uh, episode of the end of commentary. Thank you, Mr. Luna, for joining me. Yep, and uh, no problem. See you guys next week with some more D'Ando commentary. All right, people, thanks for watching.